We're here with William Byron in Victory Lane. Man, it doesn't get any more dramatic than that. Take me through that final corner, trying to catch the leaders, and then they're right in front of you. Yeah, you know, honestly, going down the back stretch, I was, I was racing for second, and I was um, really thinking hard about how I was going to pass him for second. Um, and, and he drove in there, and, um, you know, I hate to say, like, that, you know, we deserved it, but I felt like after leading all those laps um, towards the end, I felt like it was our race. So, um, you know, I didn't. Didn't feel really guilty when uh, when we crossed the finish line. I just hoped it was uh, in, and you know I hope it was checkered flag. So um, it's really neat. And with all those cautions, how difficult was it to get started and restart so many times in today's race? Uh, it was tough. I mean, the the restarts later in the the tire cycles, um, it's you spin the tires. Uh, the first couple ones you don't, and I had been used to that all day, and we hadn't had a restart where we uh, stayed out that long. So uh, the runs had kind of gone 40 laps, and then caution 40 laps. So um, our, we were always changing tires. Um, but, you know, that last restart, it's kind of everyone's fighting for everything, and uh, the bottom lane was definitely the, the place to be. Um, so, you know, we'll just look back at that for next time. You got the winner sticker on the side of your truck. You're in the chase. How does that change your mentality for the rest of this year? <laughs> I haven't even thought about it, but uh, it feels awesome. So it's going to be really good racing, uh, a little bit uh, freer feeling, and I can't wait. All right, well, William Byron, he wins in a dramatic fashion here at Kansas Speedway.